to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time, well then welcome and if you've been here before, well then welcome back. So you guys, today's video, I've been craving some chicken fajitas for the longest time. So I've decided to make them and I want to show you how I make mine. So if you want to see how I make them, then stick around. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. And don't forget to click on those notifications, all of them, so that whenever I do put up a video, you'll be the first to know, okay? So, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get cooking. So to make the fajitas, I'm going to start off with two skinless, boneless chicken breasts. And I'm going to slice these up, and you're going to see that later on in the video. But first I'm going to make a quick marinade. So in a separate bowl, I'm going to add 5 tablespoons of vegetable oil along with 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I already chopped up 3 garlic cloves. I'm going to add that in. And now I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of paprika. A half a teaspoon of cumin. 1 teaspoon of chili powder. A half a teaspoon of sea salt and a half a teaspoon of sugar and one tablespoon of some fresh lime juice. And so now I'm just going to grab a whisk and mix all of these ingredients together. And so my marinade is done and off camera I just went ahead and I sliced up my chicken into slices and this is what they look like. So I'm going to take it all over to the marinade and add the chicken into the marinade. And so now I'm just going to take a rubber spatula and just make sure that all the chicken is fully coated and the marinade is going to give the chicken a lot of amazing flavor. And I'm going to let the chicken sit for 30 minutes and while the chicken is marinating, I'm going to get started on the vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and thinly slice one green bell pepper. Now normally I usually cook with just red bell peppers, but because we're making some chicken fajitas, it just seems, it just makes sense to use some green bell peppers. And so that's what I have here. And speaking of red bell peppers, I'm going to go ahead and thinly slice one red bell pepper. Now I love red bell peppers. They're just usually a lot sweeter and just taste a lot better. So that's why I usually love cooking with them. And of course we're going to need some onions for the chicken fajitas so I took one medium onion and I'm going to go ahead and thinly slice this onion. Now after 30 minutes of marinating, I'm ready to cook my chicken. So over medium heat, I'm just going to add the chicken into the pan. And I'm just going to take a rubber spatula and just begin browning and cooking up the chicken. And it should take around 20 to 30 minutes. So after cooking for around 30 minutes, this is what the chicken is looking like. So now I'm ready to start sauteing the vegetables. So in another pan, I'm going to just heat up some olive oil really quick. And I'm just going to add in the red bell peppers. And now the red bell peppers. Along with all of the onions. And I know it seems like a lot in the pan, but as you continue to saute and cook, the vegetables will definitely wilt down. Now to add some flavor, I'm going to season it up with some sea salt. And some black pepper. Okay, for some spice off camera, I chopped and I minced up one jalapeno and I even kept a couple of the seeds because I wanted a little sizzle. And just continue to saute your vegetables for the next 15 to 20 minutes. So you see how everything just wilted down? Everything is coming together beautifully. So at this point, the vegetables are done and now I'm ready to add in the cooked chicken. And so just continue to saute, making sure that the flavor of the chicken and the vegetables come together as one. So basically everything is pretty much done. 
So the tortillas that I like to use are these Carb Balance from Mission Tortillas, but of course you can use whatever tortillas that you like. And of course you can begin filling up your tortillas with as much chicken and vegetables that you like. You absolutely have to try that marinade for the chicken. It really takes the flavor up to another level. And I've had a big craving for chicken fajitas and I'm so happy that I made this recipe and I brought it to you guys. It is a really, really, really good. But we are all done. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And it's going to help the algorithm. Share this video with everybody you know. Follow me, tag me on Instagram. Take a picture. I would love to see it. And if you give this recipe a try, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. So if you made it this far, you might as well go ahead and click that subscriber button down there. And if you want to see another video, go ahead and click that box you see right over there. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.